All right, so this is the setup for the snap-on uh, vacuum coolant refill system. Here is the manifold, the gauge. This is your inlet where your airline pressure comes in and you're gonna fucking pull vacuum on it. This is gonna be your fill hose, runs down to your coolant tank. This right here is gonna be your exhaust hose. It's gonna blow out the vacuum that you pull. And before you start, you wanna find your pressure relief cap and you wanna tape the end off. If not, it's gonna suck air through. The test won't work. So you're gonna come over, open up this valve. It's gonna pull vacuum. And your vent hose is gonna be blowing all over the place. That's fine, it's normal. You wanna wait till the vacuum gets to 25 inches of mercury. And then you're going to shut that valve. And now it's just a waiting game. Yeah. If you hear a noise popping like that, that's a coolant line collapsing. That's normal. Um, nothing to be worried about. <laughs> All right, we're almost there. Hey, don't get it all greasy, motherfucker. All right, so we're at 25 inches of mercury. Close that valve. All right, and you can leave it there for a couple seconds, see if you lose any vacuum. If you do, you have an open in your coolant system somewhere and you need to fix that. But if not, just open up that supply valve and it's gonna start pulling coolant from your tank. And your system will be done filling when it drops to about below five PSI. It takes a little bit, but it's faster than the alternative. This is just a lot of waiting. I thought it was going to be more interesting, but it's kind of boring. You can pause it and then come back to it when you're Nah, because that's kind of like... We'll send it to Jose and have him post on his Instagram. Yeah. So we can explain how to use it. And we'll charge him a profit. For every, for every system that he sells. Nah, then we gotta like get like clean clothes on and look all professional and wear safety glasses and whatnot. I'm already wearing safety glasses. Yeah, you are. Hey, bro, put that pants away. No one wants to see that. Yeah. Logo <laughs> placement. Yeah. You know, I don't even know if I can like put this up because you got like the fucking like, Spotify or Pandora playing in the back, and you get one of the like, music copyright strikes. Well, technically, it's Amazon Prime, and I'm paying for it, so I don't know. It is getting paid for. You guys are getting your money. Trip. Still, it's, it's, it's gonna be like copyright strike or something. Like, you didn't ask Eminem <laughs> for the right to use his music in this video. Well, actually, I did. He said he don't give a fuck, so. Really? He did. Mm -hmm. His words exactly. But we'll again, see. I asked him about his mother. Uh, oh well. I'm gonna stop talking to you now. But if he is listening for some weird reason, you know, hit me up. I got a little music thing going. It's nothing serious, but you know, if you want to be serious, just let me know. I'm being legit. Y'all follow me on Instagram. It'll be down in the description. <laughs> hey, 
Alex. So what, what's it called? Oh, I can't tell you guys. Greaser Beaner 559? <laughs> no, it's Special Peoples. Unless it's you, M&M, then, you know, Garcy 979, hit me up. <laughs> Feel free to, you know, slide into my DMs. Oh, th there we go. I think we're done. And I was like, fucking finally, dude. I've been waiting for this shit to be over. All right. So you get down to about five inches of mercury, and it usually won't pull anything after that point, but your system is full. It's kind of hard to tell because this is a dirty-ass coolant reservoir, but it's, it's filled. So now you can just disassemble it. Get that guy off of there. Yeah, that's very professional. Just just throw it all over the place. That's cool. So yeah, we'll do that. Open that guy up. Open up what's little left. And then vent a little bit of pressure. And there you go. Make sure you untape your uh, pressure cap. Right. And there you go. System is full. Say bye. Bye.